Can Miami Dolphins clinch playoff berth by beating Bills team that's already in? Now locked into either the number two or number three seed in the AFC, the Bills have a tough decision to make, do they rest their starters and risk playoff positioning by losing to Miami, allowing a division rival entry into the postseason in the process? Or do they risk injury, play their starters and try to secure home field advantage through at least the first two rounds? Whether or not the Bills' stars play will have a big impact on the outcome. Bold prediction, Dolphins cornerback Xavier Howard will get his 10th interception of the year, making him the first defender in 13 years to get double-digit picks Antonio Cromartie, 2007. Howard getting a pick shouldn't be a surprise, but his overall frequency will be. Buffalo QB Josh Allen has made a routine of torching the Dolphins' 17 touchdowns to three interceptions. But Miami's defense is due a big game against the Bills, though it's unclear if Allen or Matt Barkley will take most of the ps for a team that already clinched the division. Stat you have to know, Miami leads the NFL in scoring defense 18.8 points allowed per game, after ranking last in 2019, 30.9. For the Elias Sports Bureau, the only team in NFL history to go from worst to first in scoring defense is the 1966-67 Houston Oilers in the AFL, when they jumped from 28.3 points allowed per game to 14.2. Dolphins Playoff Draft Picture The Dolphins can clinch a playoff berth with a win or a loss by either the Ravens, Browns or Colts. FPI says they have an 80.8% chance to make the playoffs. The Bills, meanwhile, have locked up the AFC East but can't finish atop the conference. Buffalo can clinch the second seed with a win against Miami or a Pittsburgh loss. A little things about Dolphins on this Sunday, the Miami Dolphins roster went through some shuffling on the day the team headed to Buffalo for its all-important season finale, season finale against the Bills. After announcing that linebacker Camu Grugier Hill would not accompany the team on its flight because of illness, not COVID related, the Dolphins announced a series of roster moves later in the afternoon. The most significant involved signing practice squad safety Nate Hawley to the active roster and waiving second year fullback Chandler Cox. The team also elevated wide receiver Marcus Kemp and quarterback Reed Sinnott from the the last move indicates the Dolphins are likely to have three active quarterbacks against Buffalo, with Jake Rudick also on hand to serve as backup to rookie first-round pick Tua Tungavailoa. The Dolphins, of course, won't have the services of veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick, who was placed on the reserve COVID-19 list Thursday. The addition of Holly was made with special teams in mind, particularly in light of Grugier Hill's unexpected absence. Holly played a combined 24 snaps, all on special teams in two appearances against the Cincinnati Bengals and Kansas City Chiefs in December. Grugier Hill is the second linebacker the Dolphins have lost this week, a Landon Roberts was placed on in nerve with a knee injury, though the impact of his absence on defense shouldn't be overstated Grugier Hill played a total of nine defensive snaps over the past seven games, outside of the Kansas City game when he had 37 defensive snaps. Kemp recently joined the practice squad after playing 10 games with the Kansas City Chiefs earlier this season. He's also got considerable special teams experience and could be used in that role against Buffalo. The Dolphins will have eight wide receivers with them in Buffalo, though Devontae Parker, hamstring, and Jakeem Grant, ankle, both were listed as questionable on the final injury report. Besides Parker, Grant and Kemp, the other wide receivers who made the trip to Buffalo are Lynn Bowden Jr., Mac Hollins, Malcolm Perry, Isaiah Ford and practice squad elevation Kirk Merritt. The release of Cox shouldn't be viewed as a major surprise, even though he was a seventh-round draft pick in 2019, considering his dwindling playing time in recent weeks. Cox was inactive for seven of the past nine, ga past nine games, including each of the past